After last week's washout, the weather on Tayside was better for Eric Blank's first game in the Motherwell dugout, and you'll know by now Stuart Elliott can be a key player for his side, and it was Elliott with the game's first chance, and Paul Gallagher to the rescue for United. Alex Smith helped to shape Blank's career as a young player, and he was in opposition as manager. And it wasn't long before United took charge and clever linking up work led to the first goal. Craig Easton was in at the start and he was also in the right place to finish it off. How much he actually knew of it is hard to tell but Mark Brown deceived by the header and United ahead. It must have been painful viewing for Black as United dominated and they came close to extending the lead. Easton once again involved and Jim Lachlan denied by Brown. Now back to the other end and back to Elliot, his pace creating the opening and it was beginning to look as if it wouldn't be Motherwell's day. Even though the efforts of Elliot in particular drew applause from the gaffer. Black's first half-time team talk helped to turn things around for his side. A greater sense of purpose about the visitors, and if Elliot was denied once again, David Kelly was in hand for his sixth goal of the season. <laughs> Elliot out of luck, but Kelly's eye for a goal bringing Motherwell level. But this was a United side still hurting from their mauling at the hands of Celtic the previous week and they were determined to make it up to their fans, none more so than Jim Hamilton. <laughs> Eric Black has handed every player the chance to show their worth and while he was injured for part of Billy Davis's time, Roberto Martinez showed there could be something to come from him. And for Motherwell, the future's bright, the future's black. Alec, it's never going to be an easy game this afternoon considering your opponents had a new management team in place. Well, absolutely, uh, plus the fact that we came off a heavy defeat last week, so it was always going to be a very difficult game. Uh, so we, we tried to make a game where we would win the battle and uh, uh, take the game from that position. Uh, and I thought we did that, although it, was, it wasn't a classic. We were giving the ball away a bit too much. The, the game was played at a hell of a scale at a pace. Uh, and really there wasn't a great deal of control in it. Eric, I think you would agree, the first half a difficult start to your management career, second half really some very good positive signs. Yeah, I think you're spot on actually, it was a, a poor first half in terms of how we coped with the, with the shape, um, but I think the second half the players taking off a lot of credit from it. Yeah Andy, I got the impression that both managers were fairly happy to take something from that. Yeah, I think uh, Motherwell certainly very pleased with uh, with St Johnston losing again yesterday. They've just opened up a very healthy cushion down at the bottom there. And the way forward for Motherwell now is the younger players. Mm -hmm. And like Aberdeen, it takes a bit of time to get them playing very consistently. But they showed uh, recently against uh, Celtic just how well they mm -hmm. can play. And no disrespect St Johnston, but that gap does give Eric Black and Terry Butcher just that little bit of time. Yeah, it does, and uh, I think their way forward is to blood even more youngsters in the coming weeks. Uh, I think the, to, to come into the SPL is sometimes very difficult when you're struggling, when you're under pressure, but with that uh, small cushion that they have, it gives them uh, more leeway to bring in one or two younger players. And Alex Smith was an angry man last week. I think he was happy to get back in a level keel yesterday. Yeah, uh, again, they're just uh, verging on that mid-table position. If they can start turning these draws uh, into victories, then they again become a team that's challenging for a European spot. It's, it's very tight in that middle area.